Remember being a kid? Daydreaming, make-believe, creating? Things have changed since then. But what if they didn't have to? What if you could still dream and have all that same potential you felt as a kid? And what if as a creator, you saw that same potential in your supplies, your ability? I loved making as a kid. I didn't even need actual supplies. Took some cereal boxes and my mom's fabric scraps to make my most prized creation, the frog house. Loved that thing. And you know who else does? My kids. They play with it every time we visit my parents. When I was a teenager, I loved doodling. I swapped notes and cards with my now husband. It was made out of whatever random supplies I got my hands on. Glitter crayons, stencils, a deck of cards. But then I got busy with college, and working, and then mom life. Where was I going to get the time, money, or energy to create? My youngest woke up all night long, every night. I was home with the kids, same thing, every single day. So low feeling. I needed something different. So six years ago, it was summer. I was driving my two little ones over to swim at a beach park. But on the drive, something else I've always loved caught my eye. A garage sale. And the sign said this one was a craft garage sale. Okay, garage sale first, beach later. I was so excited driving away from that random stop. I had an actual hobby now. My very first since I was a kid. I'd always loved paper and it was gonna be my thing again. I had a grocery bag with a paper trimmer, some stamps and blocks, inks and cardstock to prove it. You probably know what happened next. That little bag of supplies it started getting bigger and bigger. A couple months in, I found some card making bloggers and YouTubers and decided this really was my thing. I stopped shopping garage sales and Craigslist and started getting what I really needed and wanted. You don't even know how excited I was to find out I lived a city away from Ellen Hudson. Okay, maybe you do. But the deeper I got in my hobby, the more unhappy I started feeling about it. I didn't feel like enough. I only had $25 a month to spend on supplies and not all that much time to use them, to learn and practice. I wanted to make all the beautiful things I saw on YouTube, but I was so far from having what I needed to do it. I started feeling just as miserable about things as I'd been feeling before my hobby. It was a really low moment when it happened on another hobby, thought work, a completely mind-blowing concept to me. The basic premise is we don't get to choose our life experiences, but we do get to choose how we think about and react to those experiences. So no matter what happens, I get to choose what to think and feel and do. I get to choose my life. That meant with card making, no matter what new releases hit the shops or what other card makers were creating, I could think and feel what I had and made was enough. I could make the time I had work. I could get creative with what I had. I could spend my budget wisely. And I could feel good about it if I wanted to. And yeah, I definitely wanted to feel that uplifting boost when I went to make cards. I knew I had to get this message out to other makers, like you. So I started dreaming up Inkill Revival. I wanted to create a place for you to come, fill up your cup when you're low, and leave encouraged, revived. I wanted the heart of this place to be that wherever you're at in your making journey, you can make and do amazing things with what you have. The supplies you have, the budget, the time, the energy, the ability, all of it, it's perfect. And the same goes for anything you wanna do in life. You've got the potential in you to make it happen. It took a couple years for me to up and make Ink Hill Revival happen, but here we are, six months in and over a thousand of you have subscribed to the idea. It makes me so incredibly happy that this message means something to you too. I fully believe you've got just as much potential in you now as you did back as that tree climbing, daydreaming kid. In your stash, so much potential there too. In fact, I've pulled together a playlist to help you make way more than you thought possible with your supplies. Check it out right here. I'm so excited and so grateful I get to make more with you.